So I'm continuing my series of redoing hikes uh, for the new um, channel on Rumble here. And uh, this is the Ocala Greenway Disc Golf Course. Uh, this is the, I call this kind of the back entrance to Baseline Park. Uh, it is nice. You do have a, a Portage on here, uh, always looking for the bathrooms. But today we're going to do Marshall Swamp. And uh, this is the beginning here to get up to the entrance. Uh, this guy walking his dog. Um, so let's just get uh, let's let's get on the trail, and I'll show you what I'm, what the hike's going to be today. So this is really the very beginning of this Marshall Swamp Trail. If you continued right up here, you now the parking lot. Let me just get it. The parking lot's right down here. That's where we just parked with the portage on, and we just hiked up to this structure here, which is very nice. Uh, you know, on a rainy day, uh, you know, always have good to have some shelter. Um, of course, you are very close to the parking lot, <laughs> and so I would prefer that shelter be along the trail somewhere, but there is none, or there wasn't. I haven't done this trail in, in a year. In fact, this is where my channel on YouTube began uh, years years ago. Um, so let's uh, let's just get the sign here for show you Baseline Park real quick before we get on to the Marshall Swamp Trail. Um, this is the major Harry, Marjorie Harris car across Florida Greenway. So we are, uh, I'm trying to, yeah, we're right here. It's kind of backwards, you know. You think that you start at the bottom, but we're right here. And this is kind of a, a just an inshoot into the loops. I call these the loops. And uh, so you can come here, and uh, it's about five miles. Let's see. But here, the uh, so one mile to get in. The gopher, the green loop's 1.5. The metal arc loop is 1.5. And the red oak uh, is one mile. Um, and there's also the... You got the buy-in road at Trailhead. Uh, that's always nice to park there because uh, it's not real crowded. And then, of course, the baseline is the one that everybody knows. This is where the kids' playground is. And there's Mary Camp Road. And you got Baseline Road. Uh, so anyway, so you can see right here, I'm just coming off to the right onto the Marshall Swamp Trail. So you got this little area here. Look, they painted the sign. And there was a bunch of graffiti on there. I don't know why people feel the urge to write on everything and destroy everything and then what was what's neat here is uh this sign i've been seeing it because i've been coming and hiking baseline is is new i mean i don't know who put the uh the marshall swamp but it doesn't look uh, like a uh the trail i mean maybe one somebody in the trail crews came and just made a sign and just put it right there i'm surprised that the vandals haven't uh destroyed it but um it, it, it's pretty cool. Look, they put the somebody put little pine cones around in a little little thing on top. That's uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, they say you know prevent Lyme disease. I've never gotten a tick on this trail. Um, it's usually pretty well maintained. But the uh, last time I hiked it, the bridges were uh, in disrepair. Let's just put it that way. And uh, I don't I don't know what to expect. You know, it's a little bit warm today to be doing the Marshall Swamp Trail. Uh, you don't want to get down in here, uh, or also after rain. This trail is very, very muddy. Uh, you can't, you know, unless you're going to have boots on, uh, you wouldn't want to hike it after a, a rainstorm. It's been pretty dry here uh, during the month of um, October. This is November 1st, 2022, as Jeremiah Babe always uh, starts his videos with. And uh, so uh, you wouldn't want to hike this after any sort of rain and or on a hot day like I'm doing I mean you know it's 90 degrees that's not that bad uh, plus you know I, I it, once you get in there it's, it's there is no sunlight <laughs> you're in a swamp man you're in a swamp all right so let's uh let's get to the next marker and I'll get a clip there so I just wanted to show you this so we're coming in to what I call the entrance to the Florida Trail and then if you this, uh, well, the Marshall Swamp Trail is part of the Florida Trail. We're not on the Florida Trail yet, and yes, now I am. And uh, this is this is the Florida Trail going off in this direction. There's a there's a post right there. You can barely see it. That marks so you would hike up this, and then that goes right through Baseline Park. So, uh, but I did want to get this on the video because this is where uh, my channel began years ago uh, when I was. Um, you know, just getting into videography, I had at that time, I had a step-grandson before I got divorced, and uh, I wanted to make videos to show him, you know, what Florida was like, uh, and that's how the channel got started, and I sat there in a chair, and I, I made a video talking about that, so anyway, let's um, let's keep on going, and uh, we'll um, get, well, I'll show you where it transitions into the actual swamp in just a second. 
So this is literally the beginning of what I call the Swamp Trail, really. I mean, you can see, you know, you're just hiking along here. Um, this is a fire break we're going to cross. And then, of course, you got the sign here with the little feet on it. I'm not sure if that was here. I, it, well, it looks pretty old, so I guess maybe I just didn't notice it before. But you can kind of see, that's what well, they call that a service road, I guess. And uh, now, boom. <laughs> Look at this. You're all of a sudden in the swamp. It feels like, you know, right here. But right now, we're above it on the first part of the trail. Um, but this, this portion of the trail just kind of goes on looking like this. Uh, you can see... The trail looks extremely well maintained right now. Yeah, see, they've been back here. This is all fresh cut. Uh, so uh, this is good. This is good because this can tighten up in the summertime. I don't know what that is. That's kind of new. Uh, maybe somebody, you know, they're getting an offshoot, some get off trail. But uh, anyway, we're just going to stay on the Marshall Swamp Trail. I'm not going to take any detours. I've already done the service roads back in here and everything. But you can see it's quite, quite beautiful. Uh, this trail is the nice thing about it is it winds around quite a bit So you always feel like you know around the next corner. You don't know what you're gonna come up on So let's just enjoy the hike here. And I'll get another clip uh, when there's another uh, thing for you to see or talk about So just kind of hiking along let you enjoy the uh, the view I, I thought of something uh, one thing to look out for <laughs> on this trail are the spiders because uh, they can throw those webs up because uh, it is kind of a tight, even after, even with all the wonderful maintenance that they've done, you can see it's kind of tight through here. And uh, man, you can get a face full of spider in a hurry. Uh, so you just keep your eyes out for the, because, you know, I got arachnophobia. Um, if you ever, you probably never saw me on YouTube, but uh, yeah, you don't want, <laughs> you don't want, and these spiders, they grow them big here in Florida, man. I'm going to tell you what, I scares me. They, they tell me that those banana spiders aren't poisonous, but they, you know what? I don't want one to bite me and find out, you know, that's, that's just my philosophy on that. So I'm sure maybe we'll get to see some spiders today and I'll get them on the video. Um, but you can see, look at this, man. Isn't this incredible? Just a beautiful, beautiful hike. So I'm just a short ways into the hike and uh, this is, this is the road that I came down to get to the parking lot. So you can see, you could just come down that road. Uh, some people actually do park right here at the at the sign. Uh, that, I think that's a no parking zone. <laughs> but but uh, and some, sometimes you'll see a sheriff there signing himself. Uh, but we're just going to continue. I just wanted to show you that you can get to the trail in a different manner. Just uh, come down that road if you want. If you didn't want to do the first part of the trail. But uh, I don't know why you wouldn't. Wouldn't want to do the first part of the trail. And then uh, I won't get it on the video, but when you get up here, there's another service road that runs along uh, the housing, this housing complex right there. And that'll take you up to this road. And then you, because on the way out, that's the way a lot of times that I just come out. Because, you know, I've already hiked this portion of the trail. So then I just come up at uh, that service road and then go up that road to get to my car. Because uh, depending on how far you've hiked, you know, if you're really, really tired and thirsty, you just want to get back to your car, you don't have to hike this portion of the trail again. So I am just going to make a brief clip right here. Uh, this is that, that, well, I call it a service road. It's going to take you back to the to your car. And then we just came out right here. Um, if you were hiking uh, the trail, you know, you can make the left right here. And, uh, of course, there's the orange marker on the tree. It's well marked. And uh, you, you're probably wondering, where's the swamp? Where's the swamp? I've been hiking for a ways. Uh, we're getting down there. Uh, in fact, that'll probably be the, the next, uh, well, the next clip I'll get you when, when we start seeing the water. And, you know, the crazy thing is I've done this trail many, many times. And I've never seen a gator, not once. I mean, I, I know they hide really well, but you'd think I'd see one cross the path or or maybe see his head pop out of the water. There's got to be gators back here for sure. You know, I think I did see a bear one time. I, I, he was off in the distance and I turned around and went the other way. <laughs> you know, because, you know, I'm not, and that's another thing. I did not bring my bear spray again. Can't okay, done. Keep forgetting. But um, like I said, I, I've hiked this trail, well, I don't know, 15 times or so. I've, and I've only seen one bear. Uh, so I'm not too concerned. And, uh, I, you know, because, and well, the other thing too is, it's not a, uh, you don't really see too many people. Oh, yeah. The other thing is you can mountain bike this trail. Um, so, man, I tell you, I'm hoping that I get well enough to where I could bring my bike back here and, and ride this trail. Because I'm going to tell you what, this would be a fun, 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 fun mountain bike ride. Uh, but I don't think many people in the area of Central Florida know that this trail exists. Because normally I won't even see a person 
on this hike, uh, which is weird, you know, because man, it's it's right in the middle of a you know, metropolitan area, and it's a beautiful, beautiful hike. Uh, you can see, just just bizarre. All right, let's get the swamp. So if you are hiking the trail, you know, you can always take a right and go onto the service road right here, and uh, that more or less just kind of winds around to uh, behind some houses. Uh, I haven't hiked it in a while. I, I, I kind of dead end uh, before because it wasn't maintained, though it looks like well maintained now. I don't know. Uh, and of course, they've got these new signs. This is new uh, uh, trail. I mean, so you can't really get lost back here at all. I mean, you know, whoa, damn, that limb just <laughs> just fell within eight feet of me. Holy moly, boy, I'm glad that thing didn't land on my head. Wow, that, that, that doesn't happen that often. You hear them off in the distance a lot of times. They're not right next to you. Holy moly. All right, this is my first shot of the swamp. Uh, now it is November 1st and I was not expecting uh, bugs. Uh, although on a 90 degree day, they're gonna come out. Um, I was gonna add that to the video. I mean, if you ever, you can't really do this during the summertime. Although I have, and with, with, with the backpack, look at the bird. Can you see him? Can you see him? Oh man, that's beautiful. Um, anyway, so uh, so this is kind of what it looks like, and I just wanted to add that you wouldn't want to be back here. Oh, <laughs> wow, look at that dragonfly! There he goes um, on a you know a hot summer day, uh, and of course you're going to have bug netting on, uh, and or I mean because the bug spray, I, you know everybody thinks that stuff works. It it works if the mosquitoes aren't thick, and uh, yeah, see here, this has been washed out quite some time, but they they re keep repairing it. And I, I don't know why it keeps washing out. It's, it's kind of weird. Uh, and then there was another place up here where the trail was washed out. Now that green sign right there means this is also a biking trail. And of course you can see on the sign, hiking slash biking. So there you go. But this is what the swamp uh, looks like. Um, this is kind of a straight portion of the trail. And, and as soon as we get, we're gonna make a left-hand turn down here. And then the trail is gonna get really interesting, assuming that the bridge isn't out. Like I said, they were in disrepair long time ago. God, I can't remember the last time. Doesn't that look like stalactites or stalagmites? I'm not sure which one is on the bottom of a cave, um, but that's sticking up out of the swamp. Just uh, just crazy back here. Um, now, I can't say the air smells wonderful, <laughs> you know, because there's a lot of rotting, uh, decaying matter back here, I suppose. Uh, but you can see, uh, look, I mean, do you see a gator? I don't see one, I, you know, and I always look for them. I'm trying, I thought maybe I saw something over here. You know, which is, I would love to see one. I, I, not up close and personal, but, you know, just see them off in the distance. Anyway, I th find it strange you never see them. All right, let's just get the, I'll get the clip when we make the turn up here. Okay, I'm coming in right here. And if you look, there's the post right there marking the trail. And you could, uh, this is where I saw the bear, by the way, down there somewhere on that service road. I was hiking down that road just to see where it went. And I uh, never got all the way down it. Maybe, maybe next time uh, we'll go down that road. But uh, this is a nice touch. Uh, <laughs> if you want to eat on that picnic table, I suppose you could bring a blower and uh, get everything off of it. But uh, I tell you, you would just, uh, most of the year, you get eaten alive trying to eat on that picnic table. But it's nice that at least they've got something there. Uh, now, I have gotten bit a couple times by mosquitoes, so I probably should have brought the bug spray. But uh, they're not too thick. I'm not too worried about it. Um, but you can see this would all, if, if, it, if it had rained, this would all be just muddy as hell. Uh, we're coming up on the first bridge. Let's see what we see. So this is the uh, first bridge. And uh, I wanted to give you the story. Uh, look here. They have done some maintenance. Uh, see, the, see the new wood up here? Uh, that's good. That's good. That means probably the other bridges are going to be passable also. So, um, but you can kind of see you just going over top of the swamp. Just, just beautiful. Got the sun uh, glistening down on you. Uh, it's just uh, just an amazing trail uh, But the story behind these bridges is that no, I, I'm assuming it's true that these were made by uh, prisoners uh, They brought in prison labor uh, volunteers from my understanding because you know I mean if you're locked in a cell, I guess it go to work in the swamp I hope it wasn't in the summertime. I can't imagine <laughs> that it was and they came back here and I uh, well, I think they even cut this trail in and put those bridges in and everything. And this is what I was talking about. See, now that we've made gotten off of that straight shoot of the trail, this is kind of what it's going to do. Uh, it's going to wind around through the swamp here. And uh, that's that's the that's the thing that I like. It's a it's a weird feeling because, you know, you never know what's going to come up on the, the next turn. You know, uh, you get that feeling from the trail. 
which is always good. I, you, you know, just hiking down a, what back there was more or less a service road is just not all that fun. Um, you can see there's some gravel in here. There's a guy uh, on the other end of the trail that uh, comes in here and he maintains this uh, and they, I guess they provide him lodging and I assume they're paying him. He, uh, although I think he said he was retired, but he just lives uh, lives there and he comes in and, and maintains this portion of the trail and just brings an, uh, you know, an ADV back here. And it looks like he's been throwing down some gravel, which is good. Because, uh, like I said, this trail can be a muddy mess. There's a, uh, hey, look at that view of the swamp. Isn't that amazing? Woo! Got another mosquito on me. All right, look at that. Looks like something prehistoric, man. A T-Rex is going to pop out. And this is what I was talking about with the mud. See right here? You know, so even riding a bike, you know, you, if, if, if it had range, you, you, you would be... Uh, there could be some tough cycling back here on a, you know, but uh, it's been dry, so I'm, I'm assuming everything's going to look good. And you see those um, fans on the ground? That means they've been doing maintenance, you know, so this, I'm expecting this to be a fully maintained hike today. This trail, you get a lot of views like this. And I think, you know, that, that tree right there, doesn't that look unique? And uh, just continuing to kind of wind around uh, back and forth, back and forth. Uh, look at that. That's kind of, that is so cool. Um, and it just the other thing I wanted to point out is I'm back here and there's not a breeze stirring on a 90 degree day uh, <laughs> it's not the best day in the world to be hiking this trail but you know I'm still like I said it's nice and shaded and I'm comfortable so and I'm not worried about it uh, but you would want to be back here on a breezy day that would help out especially with the mosquitoes and whatnot and and keeping you cooler uh, I would prefer the temperature to be in the, 70s or so uh, hell it might even be a little cold back here at that temperature but uh anyway but just more of the same i'll get you when i see something unique we'll get another clip so pretty quickly we've come to the second uh bridge here it's a nice uh uh well stool there that you can sit on if you need to rest uh always nice to see that somebody left their their pants there uh, my guess is they had an emergency and uh <laughs> and didn't want to wear them out of here. I don't know. Uh, you never, not to TMI, right? TMI. All right. So this is kind of the look from the second bridge. And by the way, this you can see up here. There's they've done some construction that was all down the last time I was here. Uh, so they are but coming back here and maintaining things. But this is the view from the uh, the bridge. We're literally just hiking right over the water here. Look at that. Isn't that cool? And you'd think you'd see a gator somewhere. Let's look around. No, nothing. So and then look, 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 look over here. You know, I wonder where this water goes. I mean, you know, you can see it doesn't look like it flows at all. I guess that's the nature of a swamp. And uh, in Florida, it's amazing that it just doesn't sink right down into the ground. Because, you know, we're basically a giant sandbar of a state. But uh, it is quite beautiful. So let's, uh, I'll get you to, to the end of the bridge here, and uh, look at this, uh, new, new, new supports here, that's good. Um, I don't see any boards out, uh, there were boards now up here, at the new board here. This is good, this is wonderful, I'm glad to see that uh, they're going to keep this trail alive, because uh, it's a really treasure for this area that we have. And this, if I, well, okay, yeah, see this, all, all this was down all brand new. Yeah, of course, why do they use wood? I, you know, it seems like you'd use some sort of composite. Uh, maybe that's bad for the environment. I don't know. I, but the woods, you know, this is Florida, man, and you're in a swamp. It's it's just going to rot right out. But look, hey, check out the palm tree there. Isn't that crazy? What you see back here? All right. Uh, I'll wait till we get something else that's uh, pretty cool. Look at that. Just like peering off into the distance. Yes, yeah, another thing, I don't think I've ever seen a deer on this trail. Or maybe deer don't like swamps. I, I have no idea. If, you, if you're watching this video, let me know. Do deer just stay away from swamps? So, I mean, I, good question. I know bears like swamps. So, who knows? Forgot, uh, this, is, this is unique. You know, we have trees that do this. It's a palm tree, just kind of bend, bend across. I, I remember that was pretty cool. Uh, I wish I could figure out where. One time when I was back here in the summertime with my backpack, there was a tree across the uh, trail. Might have been this one right here. 
and uh, you can see they, they cleared it out of the way and I had to get yeah I'm pretty sure this is it man I had to climb through that thing <laughs> to keep going with the backpack on that was brutal and back then I was in shape you know uh, which I, I'm real encouraged uh, you know I, if, just watching these videos I broke my neck back in uh, May and well and so I'm still recovering now, don't ever break your neck i mean <laughs> it's uh, it's brutal i got no feeling in my hands uh feet still uh don't have a whole lot of feeling in in them but uh you can see that i'm feeling strong today uh which is good i've been you know when i first started trying to hike again i could only get maybe a quarter mile before it, you know at best and uh, i don't know how far we've gone today uh, i don't i don't even know the length of this trail but uh I'm feeling strong. Maybe we'll get the whole thing in all the way to the end. Um, but I don't want to get too tired because the hike back, uh, you know, I got to make it back. I mean, you know, I don't want to have to call 911 and have the, them, well, I guess they could ride an ADV back here to get me. So, um, and this is kind of cool right here. This has been here a long time. And since I've been hiking this trail, this tree just kind of falling right along. And what's, uh, look at the, let's look at the root system on these these trees. It's amazing, but look at that. Looks like it just fell, doesn't it? And it's been there as long as I can remember, or as long as I've been hiking this trail. There's another uh, another uh, Florida tree there, palm tree. All right, let's keep on going. Well, if you didn't think there were predators back here, <laughs> something got eaten right here. I guess that was a bird, huh? So, uh, anyway, let's... Uh, Keep enjoying the trail. Just thought I'd show you that. So, you know, there's something back here is eating something. Hope it ain't me. Coming up on another bench where you could sit, although on a day like today, I wouldn't want to sit because the mosquitoes, they don't like it when you're, when you're, they come on you when they're idle. So, uh, and I always wonder why they, you know, the guy that maintains, well, he looks like a new screw right here. Uh, you know, why not replace that wood? But, you know, anyway, it's just, uh, it's still good. It looks nice and sturdy. So just more of the same on the trail. Just wanted to get the bench show you that there are places to sit and relax, especially on uh, when the weather gets cooler here in Florida. This is just an excellent hike in the wintertime, for sure. So really been nothing to see other than the, the same same thing. I uh, kind of wanted to show you this. I don't know what this, there's a fence right over here. And I wonder why there's a fence there. <laughs> I mean, what are they trying to stop? <laughs> you know, I mean, you gonna hike through that to get to that fence? I mean, maybe it's private property or something. Uh, anyway, I just thought I'd get that on the video. I always try to get the weird stuff. Uh, and uh, but the trail, you know, you—it's just more and more of the same. It's beautiful. Every step is beautiful, and uh, you still just kind of weaving back and forth and back and forth, and just a just a beautifully wonderful hike. I want to see if I can get the, the fence on the video a little better. Maybe we can see it here. Yeah, I don't know. All right, well, let's just keep on going and uh, enjoy the day. But I wanted to get at that fence. Well, we got that other palm tree. Check this one out. I, I remember this now. Uh, this is what this is the one I thought I was showing you. I was going, oh, wait a minute. I thought it was really more unique than what it was. But check that out. Isn't that cool? It almost looks like a head of a, um, what was the damn the dinosaur that was a herbivore that put the big long neck <laughs> boy I hit my head too hard when I fell down those stairs didn't I I can't remember I can't, can't remember the name of that dinosaur but you know the one I'm talking about all right I wanted to get that on the video because it is pretty cool pretty cool looking isn't it so coming up on the third and final bridge I uh, just wanted to give you a timing I'm moving maybe 1.5 two miles an hour I guess uh, that's, uh, you know, which is really good for me. I mean, I could get, the other hikes I've been doing have been moving about one mile an hour. Um, and you can see, you see all this wood? You know, I throw it away, right? So they threw it here because this is a, this is a muddy mess coming up to this bridge when it's been raining, for sure. And uh, But anyway, I wanted to show you. Look at here, they've been doing some maintenance on this bridge also, obviously. And uh, this is the third and final bridge. And uh, there's a little area... Well, I don't know if you should just throw it all over into the swamp like that. I would have put that on the trail right up here, you know, and just put, put wood all the way down the trail, maybe even uh, lashed it together. Well, you know, I'm, I'm almost, I'm not back here doing the maintenance, am I? You know, all I can do, 
but you can see they just just threw it all right there and, and it'll it'll become part of the swamp eventually and but uh that seems a waste to not use that wood in some fashion to help the trail all right so let's get the view from this bridge this is good uh, so now you know that uh, they're going to keep this trail maintained you can come back here and hike this anytime i'm still going strong which is unbelievable uh, how, how long am I into the hike? I would say I'm about an hour, hour and 15 minutes along. I'm, I, the daylight's going to get away from me. It gets, starts getting dark here about um, 6 o'clock and it gets really dark in the swamp. Um, so I'm going to have to, the time, me, the time might make me turn back rather than, well you can see they just threw the wood right here. The time may make me turn back before I can finish the trail. Because uh, I certainly don't want to be back here and I, I'm sure going back I'm be moving a lot slower. So I'm trying to, in my brain, do the math. You know, an hour and 15 minutes down, maybe maybe it's gonna take me two hours and then two hours going back. So that that would put me getting back at about six o'clock, assuming that I can maintain some type of pace. That's pretty late. That's pretty late to be in the swamp. But uh, let's just continue to enjoy. I wanted to show you that. And then there's gonna be a, uh, we're coming up on it and I'll show you what, what I've, what it, the thing I really want you to see, which is really cool, uh, it's coming up here shortly. You know, I wanted to show this on the video. These are these are in the trail, and uh, if you're not watching your footing, especially when you're as unsteady as I am, you can trip over them suckers and uh, and take a spill. So you got to kind of watch out for these little knots. Uh, I just wanted to show you that because I did hit one <laughs> a little bit back, almost fell on my face, and I was like, "Man, you know what? I better talk about this just a little bit." So you know, kind of keep your eyes down just a little bit, and I mean, enjoy the scenery, but uh, definitely watch your footing. Come to another bench, man. I tell you, oh here, look, we got somebody here. Hold on, let me cut the video off clip. But I was uh, getting into the, my conversation here is uh, yesterday. Well. Uh, Yesterday I finished power washing one side of my house and you know and that does that also involves brushing it and I'm not supposed to be tweaking my back like that because holding that long brush and getting up to the gutters just destroyed my back so I was at physical therapy yesterday and boy they it's a girl can't give you her name but she's awesome and she just dug into that back well this is a little side trail I wanted a good thing I cut the video on you can hike this it's a lot tighter than the, than the regular trail here and it'll wind through the woods going up that way and then it'll come back and intersect back into the uh, Florida trail here or the Marshall Swamp Trail but anyway what I was going to tell you when you break your neck I mean I it's a good thing I, I'm, I'm on the road to recovery but I haven't been taking my gabapentin and I'm, I'm, off, I'm off of the blood pressure medication. But anyway, my nerves are on fire, man. Feels like somebody's taking needles and just stabbing them into my back, man. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to scratch it. Boy, if I had a back scratcher right now, there'd be no skin left on my back. I'm just telling you, it's insane. Even my hands are tingling, which is, that's a good sign. You know, maybe my nerves are starting to rebuild those pathways. I mean, obviously they are. I wouldn't be walking like this or hiking and you know so uh but man i just thought i'd get that out there because i mean right now my back is just like i'm actually gritting my teeth and re regretting the fact that i didn't take my gabapentin today uh because i haven't really needed it. i mean i've gotten so used to one one thing when you break your neck you just get used to pain i mean constant pain and uh they don't give you the, you don't get the oxycontin no more you know they don't you can't pop that like candy nor would i want to because uh, you know, they, that'll constipate you and, and the other, you know, get other problems or maybe even get hooked on it. You never know. Um, so, but, uh, yeah, I, uh, so I just been enduring the pain and not taking even the gabapentin, but I regret that decision today, man. I mean, God, it, it, if, it, is somebody back there stabbing me? I don't know, man. I don't know. All right. This is what I wanted to show you. So we just came through that. Now you could pick up a wood tick, I suppose, on that grass right there. But other than that, the trail's wide open, so that's what I was saying. I've never had a wood tick on me hiking this trail. But this is pretty cool. Um, I don't know what the orange ribbon around the tree is supposed to mean. Maybe trail this way, I guess. I. Hmm. All right, so let's come on out here. This is a little uh, viewing platform. That's uh, We're getting close to the end of the trail, and I'm going to go ahead and do the whole thing. I shouldn't. I might have a real problem getting back, but... Uh, Anyway, I'm feeling, I'm just feeling good today. I don't know what's going on. Let's check the bird out. See him? Isn't that beautiful? Look at them. He's up on that limb. Hopefully we'll get close to him. I'm going to be quiet. I don't want him to, damn, damn. I was hoping to get get closer. Me and my big mouth. 
Well, I think we still got him on the video. Let's get the bird right up there. Well, anyway, so this is what you see on the viewing platform. Isn't this cool? So this is the last time you'll see water on this trail. Let's see if we see a gator. Tag on it. So like I said, I never see a gator on these things. You'd think there'd be one looking up at you somewhere. Yeah, let's come around this way. Yeah. Boy, that water. I wonder, backpacking, man, if you had to pump that water, <laughs> I guess it'd be drinkable. I don't know. Uh, well, they didn't get, when you take it through that three micron filter, any water's drinkable. You can pump a mud puddle, but uh, I wouldn't want to get over there to pump it. I guess that's the point I'm trying to make. Because look at what you'd have to get through to get to the water just to be able to pump it from if you were backpacking. So, which uh, speaking of backpacking, we're going to come up on a spot where I'm going to show backpackers that they can throw up their tent and have bathrooms nearby and everything. Because uh, if you are hiking the Florida Trail, this would be a planned stop that I would make, um, I think that's uh, 314, uh, that the, the entrance to the Marshall Swamp Trail right there. I'll show you what I'm talking about when I get there. And I've talked to the guy that uh, manages that area. As long as you got your tent back in the woods uh, where he can't really see you, he's not going to hassle you. Um, so, you know, that's... Uh, and so there's no, I mean, because they, they do say at the parking lot there's no camping, so you're not, <laughs> you're not going to put your tent up in the picnic shelter at, 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 at the thing. But as long as you get back into the woods, um, you know, because you can camp anywhere along the Florida Trail. And, and uh, so he's, he's not going to bother you. I'll show you that in just a few. Actually, the trail's going to transition right up here out of kind of this, uh, this look, you know, the palm tree look and, you know, the swampy look and everything. And so uh, we'll get that on the video when I get there. So this is kind of the beginning of that transition that I was talking about. Um, see how it's kind of opening up? Uh, you know, you're not just winding back and forth through um, where you can't see, you know, anywhere off into the forest or anything. Uh, and, that, and that's what I was talking about. I'm just surprised I never see a deer along here. Uh, you know, because now you do have a view. And you can kind of look around and then this is going to transition again here shortly. And I'll show you that too. All right. Like I said, I hit my head hard going down the stairs. <laughs> I completely forgot about this bridge. I don't. I'm sure this isn't new. So there's a. This is the fourth bridge. So uh, and they can see they've been doing some work on it, man. And once again, just throwing the boards over into the swamp, which I mean that's fine. But I like I said, I might put them in the muddy parts of the trail. But this is kind of the view from this bridge. Pretty cool. So. Good to see they're maintaining that that's that's fresh work i wonder if they just did that looks like they did wow very nice and there's you peering off into the swamp there all right yeah you got a little trail maintenance needed here huh so this is the other end end well at the end or the beginning depending on which direction you're hiking the marshall swamp trail this is that little loop trail i was telling you about now you could pick up some wood ticks see how tight that is because they don't really maintain that real well. Um, so you probably would want some long hiking pants on to do that. Uh, you know, and to check yourself when you're done with the doing the loop trail. I mean, it's worth hiking. I, I've, I've hiked it. It's it's a fun little little detour off of the uh, Marshall Swamp Trail. Uh, and then, of course, I, <laughs> the guy, he does put these signs up. I asked him about that. Then, uh, So he, he's, he added those himself, the guy that works uh, where we're going. But you can see we're kind of transitioning out of the uh, of the swampy look and into more of a pine pine forest you see the pine trees and uh, and then it's going to really just come into a pine forest and I'll get that on the next clip once again uh, here's another bench so you could take a break along the trail I didn't remember so many of them being here you know I guess uh, I don't really pay attention so well I guess like I said I hit my damn head probably just forgot about it all right, let's uh, wait till we get into the, the pine trees and then we'll be close to the uh, parking lot and I'll show you that real quick. And I got a, I got a funny story coming up. All right, I'm coming up on the, uh, the end of the trail here. And this is the, uh, the parking area next to 314. All right, and uh, uh, this is what I was talking about. If you were a backpacker, um, you could throw up right around in here. This looks to me like a good, good spot, you know, anywhere around in here. And then you can always hike over to the bathrooms, which are going to be right over here. Uh, so this would be a great, great place to hold up 
for a night on your journey. Uh, I did have a funny story. So uh, back during COVID, uh, even here in Florida, we went a little batshit crazy with the whole thing. And uh, my ex-wife, I uh, got her to hike down here with me. And because, uh, you know, what back then we couldn't do anything. Everything was closed, right? Uh, briefly here in Florida. And uh, so we got here and uh, she had to go real bad. And I said, well, don't worry. I said, we're coming up on uh, two really nice bathrooms. And I said, you'll be fine, you know. So we uh, we got <laughs> into the bathrooms <laughs> and they had locked them and they put caution tape all the way around the bathrooms so you couldn't use them, you know. So uh, see what I'm talking about? Backpackers, this would be ideal for a campsite. Just throw your tent in there. But I, uh, so the <laughs> story goes, so I, I said, well, you know, just take your pants off and go over in the woods and, you know, do your business, right? And uh, she, <laughs> she, she didn't want to take her pants off. I'm not taking my pants off. I said, ain't nobody out here to see you. I said, good God, you know. I said, I, I, you know, that, that, that particular day, we hadn't seen a single person. And uh, she says, no, I'm not going to do it. Well, anyway, short story long, you can imagine the mess she made of her pants. So she had to hike all the way back <laughs> with those wet pants. And so anyway, that's what I'm telling you. You know, if you if, if emergency strikes, man, just take your pants off, right? You know, you don't want to get your clothes all nasty and then have to hike for, well, I, I, got, I don't even know what time it is. I bet I'm two hours. Uh, boy, it's going to be, a t I, I don't know if I'm, God, I can't imagine what tomorrow's going to be like. I probably, I probably won't even be able to get out of the damn bed. I'll just lay there and, and just go and, and cry, you know, oh, I shouldn't have done the, the whole Marshall Swamp Trail, I was out of my mind, what the heck was I thinking about, you know, but I just wanted to show you the whole, the whole experience here, and uh, I'll get another clip here in just a second of the parking lot, hold on. All right, so, so this is the 314 parking area, I bumped into this guy, I mean, he's got a nice truck, uh, and the guy that was on the trail, uh, one person that I saw, and this is what I'm, I was saying as a backpacker or even just as a hiker. You got a real nice picnic shelter right over here. Uh, in, in summer, well, the, certain times of the year, the no see -ums, that's what we call them here in Florida. They'll be all over you. I, I ate a candy bar in there one time, and they ate me alive. But uh, And then, of course, this is the bathroom facility. Uh, the, the guy, uh, I wonder if we can see his, see, there's his trailer right back here. And that's where he lives, the person that maintains all of this in the trail. Um, and, you know, I guess that's his home, you know, more or less. Uh, it's probably paid for with tax dollars, though. Uh, so let's get the map on the on the, on the video here. Um, this is, the, so you're kind of showing you, so here's what you got. So we are right here. There's a trail. It's Southeast Highway 314. All right, so we came up this trail all the way up to the uh, 64, Southeast 64th Avenue Road. That's where we started, okay? Um, and then, of course, this is that little loop trail uh, that I was telling you about that's not well maintained, and uh, um, that's it. That's the, that's what we did today. Uh, this is just kind of a map of the area. I'm trying to get myself oriented here. All right, here's the Santos Trailhead. That's the bike trail. We've been on that many times. Uh, and then here's the baseline uh, trailhead that I was talking about. And then uh, there's a, we are here. Okay, so, uh, and then, of course, this is Baseline Park right here. Okay, so you can kind of see as we move along, and the Florida Trail runs all the way through there. Um, they always have, you know, what you might see. I never see them. <laughs> you tell me. We did see that one big white bird, right? And uh, I, dogs are allowed here. I, a lot of people want to know on my videos, so uh, dogs, but they've got to be kept on a leash. And we got two new people here. I guess they're going to just use the, well, he's got a dog, and he's going to use the bathroom, I suppose. All right, that's it. I, I would show you the bathroom. Uh, well, let's go over there. I'll show you the bathroom real quick. So this was another thing that I forgot for backpackers and hikers. And uh, Let's see if this water fountain works. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there you go. I'm going to get me a big belly full of water because I didn't bring any water today because I knew the I knew the trail. I knew the hike. And like I said, the guy does it. See, look at this. This is a good job, man. This bathroom is always... Whoa. Well, no, that's not... I thought it'd be nice and clean. <laughs> I don't know, man. Maybe somebody uh, was having problems in here. But normally this place is uh, nice and clean. Uh, I guess if you, know, you got to go, you got to go, right? Okay. So that's it. Uh, I wanted to show you his house. We've got a better view right here. Check out this trailer, this setup. That is one hell of a setup right there. I don't know what the cage on top is supposed to be about. Uh, 
maybe he gets up there and I don't know. I, I've never seen that before. Have you ever seen a cage on top of a trailer like that? Pretty cool. All right, and then this fence, uh, I didn't remember it being here, but I guess it probably always has. So, you know, he's nice and secure back there, tucked in. Uh, the gate up here, they do uh, shut the gate to the parking lot uh, in the evenings, and he does that. Uh, so, and I, I, to me, it was somewhat early. It's not quite dark. They, it's a certain time that they shut the gate. So you wouldn't want to come here, you know, and and be because you got to get out, right? <laughs> you know, uh, so if this guy gets back at dark, the gate will be shut and locked. Um, so I don't know. I, you know, that's why parking at the other end uh, seems like a better idea. Check out the grasshopper. Look at him. Ooh, look at the size of them. Boy, they grow them big down here, don't they? He's just hopping along. I hope you're getting him on the video. All right. Well, that's probably just about it for the video. I, I always say that. I might get something on on the way back, uh, like a, you know, if I see a bird or um, some sort of wildlife, that'd be about it. Other than that, I can't think of anything that I missed to show you the Marshall Swamp Trail. Can't believe I did. Well, I haven't made it back yet, have I? I guess I'll get a final clip when I get back to the car to show show you what I look like, because I'm, I'm wobbly right now. I can't imagine getting back. It's going to be brutal, man. This is going to be brutal. Oh, I did want to, they've got these signs everywhere. Check out the lizard crawling on the sign. Um, I will just get this on the video. You can read it for yourself. But they got these everywhere. They all talk about the, uh, the, the canal where progress meets preservation. Imagine a 200-mile channel across Florida. And then you can read that because uh, they just talk about... Um, and then, of course, dreams of reshaping the earth in the 16th century. Spanish conquistador Pedro oh, Mendez de... Avila's, gosh, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, hope to discover an easy water passage across Florida. Over the next 400 years, nas lo national and local leaders fought to secure funding and manpower to build a canal that they believe would boost Florida's economy and importance in the global commerce. In 1964, construction began. So you can, you'll find these, and this is, this is just showing you more of the same. A new use for canal buildings, a uh, spot underwater, you know, Anyway, so that's uh, that's it. Uh, I'll get another clip when I get back to the parking lot, if I get back to the parking lot. If not, the next clip will be a, a, a ranger on an ADV picking me up to take me back to my car, <laughs> and uh, that'll be that'd be a hefty bill, wouldn't it? <clears throat> Holy moly! Oh, before I forget, um, as you go out, if you're hiking the Florida Trail or whatever. You go across that parking lot and then you can enter into the Florida Trail on the other side and that's uh, Silver Springs uh, State Park. Now, in the past, I did all the maintenance on that trail. I certainly can't do it now. Uh, maybe someday I'll do it again because it was completely unmaintained and at that time I was trying to, well, and once again, maybe we'll get back on it. I want to hike all of the Florida Trail in Florida and uh, it's been a goal of mine and I was doing, hell, I got about four or 500 miles before I broke my neck. And, you know, we'll get back to it. But I had to cut my way through that trail, and uh, it was nasty. There were burrs back there and everything, and uh, so very rarely do the trail crews come through and maintain that. And it wasn't a very pretty hike uh, through there. But, uh, you know, if, you, if your goal is to hike all of the Florida Trail, you know, you're going to, you, you know, maybe you can get that portion. And there was one time a trail crew came through and actually cut it, uh, you know, after after I had uh, plowed the way for him, so to speak, and uh, and I cut some some areas in the trail, detouring it around some uh, obstacles where you didn't want to do it, you know, because I was like, why not just cut the trail right through here? And so I said, well, what the hell, I'll just do it, you know. Anyway, that's the story. Uh, sorry to keep adding to this video. Well, I said I wouldn't make too much more video, but I got to thinking, if you had told me one week ago that I would hike the entire Marshall Swamp Trail, I would have called you a doggone liar. I said, there's no way in hell I could do something like this. If you had told me back in May that I would be able to walk again, I would have called you a darn liar. But I'm gonna tell you what, this is what belief in God and Jesus Christ as my savior can do for you. I'm about halfway back, I just thought I'd make a clip because uh, I'm getting pumped, man. I mean, I told, and that's another thing that I've learned in this journey back to back to health or back to some semblance of a normal life is that you got to take advantage of every moment. I mean, some days I can't, like tomorrow, I know I'm not going to be able to move. I'll just be in my house suffering, 
hopefully I'll get some paperwork done. I got to make some phone calls, deal with some insurance and uh, things like that. But I was feeling good today. I didn't know how good. So you, when you feel good, you got to get out and you got to do it. And you got to push yourself. And then, uh, you know, hell, it might be three or four days that I'll be recovering from this. So I won't be getting any exercise. I'm on the second bridge now. I'm getting wobbly. I'm all really wobbly. So but we'll get a, I'll get the final clip when I get back to the, uh, the car. I'm moving a lot slower now. But it's not going to get dark on me. Uh, which is good. Uh, the mosquitoes have come out even more. I'm, I'm swatting them off. Uh, hopefully I won't get uh, Lyme. I mean, what is it? The malaria or some disease from these doggone mosquitoes. But I, like I said, I didn't expect them in the, in the middle, beginning of November here to even hardly be out. Although it is a warm day with no breeze. In fact, one of them got me in the back of the neck right there. All right, let's just keep going. Well, I'm just about back. Thought I'd get, a, get you a look at the service room. And uh, man, my back, my back's just on fire. Oh my God. I'm gonna get in that shower and just let that shower massage beat on my back and then take a back scratcher and just go at it like a madman when I get back to my house. But uh, anyway, that's it for the Marshall Swamp uh, video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I, I did enjoy the hike. I just didn't enjoy somebody on my back sticking needles into it, you know. Woo! I'm looking forward to getting in that air conditioning in the car. Peace out. Stay free. And it's good, 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 good to live in the free, free, free state of Florida. Boy, I had to finish up with a Florida man video. <laughs> Look at this, man. Some Florida man, uh, drunk obviously, probably at night, came straight down this road because it dead ends right here. Parks right up there. And just wallop this thing. Look at that. Holy sh holy moly. That's just destroyed. I can, can you imagine the damage they did to their vehicle? Man. All right. Florida man. Florida man. Does whatever he can.